Hello everyone. Welcome to the 17th episode of the Web Element series. Today I came across an Instagram post and I have recreated it, but obviously I have to teach you all that how to create it. So first see what it is. It is a simple card with a back glow and the text written on it is obviously written back glow. It changes the color as per it is just transparent. It is changing your color in such a way. So you are going to learn this. So let's begin. First we'll always begin with app. Episode app. 17. index 17 dot html and style 17 dot css let's close the sidebar now obviously we'll begin with the boilerplate link there is no problem in linking above the meta and title files or below like it doesn't matter We'll also change the name to, I'll just name it back glow or under glow, just like there are in the cars. That's also updated here. So where is it? Here it is. You can see that the name is changed. Now what I'll do is create a div and we can write any text i'll just simply write the name of the channel when we save it it is here now let's do it half screen and do this also as half screen that's it for the html now it's done for the css so we'll begin with body first i'll give it a height of 100 viewport height then display flex and you know what accompanies it all the time when we save it we can see it in the center then i'll also change the font family to monospace you can see the difference yeah it has got smaller in font size we'll change it later and now we have to give a background color and i mostly use one only black you can't see the text for some time wait to see it again now we have to do position relative and we have have to give it a width i'll give it 40 rem and same for the height 40 rem then we don't need i was just about to write line height which wasn't required so i just said myself that we don't need it i know it's weird now you can't see it but it is in the center of the div that's all i would like to say and we'll also give the div some color so background color and i'll give it a color 151823 let's also give it some border radius i hadn't given it in the previous one that i showed you but i'll give it now so 12 rem seems to be enough yep and I'll also give it a font color, which we simply write as color. So I'll write 252B37. Let's save it. I'll also change the, you can say, font size. 36 pixels. Not PN, pixels. Now you can see it because it is bigger. And you can see that 
the font has changed because we wrote the font family monospace as pre prefer monospace fonts i don't know why before you ask so animation i'll name it text color i'll give it 10 seconds is and out and infinite now i'll also define the keyframes etc although i'll not give the property right now whatever property is to be considered there so i'll write i'll simply okay that was a mistake so zero percent 50% out. Oh. 100%. And now we will give the property for div after. It is for the underglow that we are going to have. So first of all, position, absolute, content, none. We can't write none for content, so this is how we do it. Top, now we'll give it a value of 5VW, which is viewport width. If you don't know what it is, have a video separate and properly on CSS units. You can see it. Now left, 0. Right, 0. And now we have to give a Z index so that it is always behind the main div so this and now we have to give it height and width so 100 percent hundred percent and now margin which will go zero and auto and we need to add a transform also like it won't look that good if it doesn't even change its shape a little bit. So 0 0.75. It would just look too bland. I don't know you know the meaning because I can't describe. And then we'll put a filter of blur. You would be wondering why we want that underglow to be a soft one not like a harsh color gradient so we'll give it a value of again 5 vw now we have to give the gradient so linear gradient to 70 degrees 0 triple f c1 comma hashtag 7 e 0 f f f let's save it and yes we can see it currently although it isn't that visible but for the least it is visible so we will give it a background size which is 200% and 200% and we will also give it an animation. So animation would be named animate glow. Ten seconds is and out and infinite now i would just simply copy and paste this because obviously the format is same there is no different format for that so now we will change the animate below Now all we have to do is to give background position property 0%, 50%. I would just simply copy it, paste, 
and I would write hundred percent here. Tab, paste. So the glow has been done. That's it for the glow. You would be saying that why isn't it appearing properly? I'll show you why it isn't in some seconds. But first I have to do color. And the color we have to use here are the one we used previously. So this color, this color and again this one. Let's save it. You can see that the color is changing here. Now let me show you why the underglow isn't appearing properly. That was because the window was smaller than it has to be. And as you can see, it is looking even better because of that roundness we brought in it using border radius. You can also increase the font size. I'll do it. So I'll take it to 48. Save it. And you can see it is looking even better. So that is it for today's video. Hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye.